Hey guys and welcome to my video specifically about the fish mask in RuneScape. So the fish mask was the first tradable discontinued item for 10 years and that basically means that the item cannot be reproduced in the game using any method and it still remains tradable in game after its removal. The last discontinued item was the Santa hat that was released on Christmas Day in 2002. Now this was at the time where every holiday event item that was given out was tradable and since it was only a holiday event it wouldn't be available ever again in the game. And this causes that item to go up in price as it's no longer available and items get less and less of them in the game as people quit, people get banned with the items on their account. Or people simply destroying the rares like eating the easter eggs or elking the rares. After the Santa hat, Jagex actually said it was going to be the last tradable discontinued item as they have a negative impact on the economy. Obviously they changed their minds as the fish mask was added into the game on the 6th of June 2012 during the Squeal of Fortune promotion. It started off as an uncommon prize in the Squeal of Fortune and remained as a rare reward for 3 months. It was a weird one, it was added purely as a cosmetic item and not related to any holiday event, yet they were going to keep it as a tradable item after it was removed from the Squeal of Fortune, making it a new discontinued item. This obviously didn't go down very well and had hundreds of unhappy players posting on the update thread, and there's no other explanation why Jagex would add a discontinued item onto the Squeal of Fortune rather than to hugely encourage the purchase of spins. The fish mask was completely removed from the Squeal of Fortune yesterday on the 28th of September 2012. And as you can see from this graph, the fish mask has varied in price over the last few summer months. When the fish mask was first added into the game, they had a price of 500k on the Grand Exchange. However, their street price shot up to 10 mil as it was the first discontinued item for so long many people wanted to get their hands in the first ones. However, this price did settle down to around 2 mil. On the 14th of August, Jagex added a new option on the Squeal of Fortune to convert the rewards for GP. Weirdly, the fish mask could be converted to 9 million GP, despite not even being worth half of this on the Grand Exchange or the street price. As you can see from the graph here, this hugely affected the price of fish masks, crashing them to around 3 million each. I mean, why would people claim an item and sell it on the Grand Exchange for 4 mil when they can just convert it for 9 mil? Later, Jag exchanged this to only give you half of this amount, 4.5 mil, and this was around the time when I got my first and only fish mask on the Wheel of Fortune, and I just decided to swap mine for the cash. Fish masks are a strange rare in the fact that they're unlikely to rise at holiday events. Other rares such as Santa hats have always kind of risen around Christmas uh, as people like to buy them and wear them around this time and then they'll sell them after the festive period. As fish masks were given out in a temporary promotion, there's no special time for you to wear a fish mask and not to mention it looks pretty hideous. <laughs> if you go to Lumbridge wearing one in seek of a hot RuneScape babe girlfriend, it's not likely to happen. So if you guys are looking to invest in a fish mask, bear in mind it took Santa hats over a year to start considerably rising in price. There's also the fact that merchanters, dicers and other rich players invest hundreds and sometimes even thousands of these masks on one account and there's no saying what would happen to the price of these if some of those guys started to dump their masks. But I mean if you want to pick one up as a collector's item, why not? It's the cheapest rare available by far and even if they go up or down you can still claim to the fact that you have an item that is now discontinued. So that's everything you need to know about the fish mask and feel free to let me know what you think guys. Would you guys like to see more discontinued items in the game or do you think it's done purely to boost those microtransaction rates?